all my life as a fan of the Pokemon franchise, there have always been some Pokemon that I feel could just have one more transformation to complete them. Whether it is to establish your final form or give them one in between a two evolution chain. For the list, I, com I compile a Pokemon that I believe needs one more evolution. So here it is, my top five Pokemon that need to evolve. Please note, this is a completely opinionated list. After watching this video, let me know your top five in the comment section below. Starting off my list is actually a pair of Pokemon, because I just feel like they fall into the same category. Pokemon are Hulu and Taylo. Hold up, before you guys start going off on me like, Holy Alakadan Spoon's ass, they already have evolutions. You see, this is the instant where I would add an evolution in the middle of the chain. You see, both these birds fall into the bird that you see first in their respective generations. And every generation except those two, the bird you meet first has three Pokemon in their evolution chain. So for me, I just feel like these two are kind of left out. So that's why I believe these two should just get one more evolution. For number four is Jet Pokemon Octillery. And really for me, this is more of a bias opinion because I really like Octillery. Come on, would it be sweet to have a giant octopus Pokemon? Because Octillery is only 211. I mean, that's not that tall. Uh, Octillery though would have, has a really good attack stuff of that, but everything else is just kind of there. We could have our attack and make him a giant tank I can sue. Don't you think more people would respect and want artillery to evolve him into Arc Tank? Number three might come as a surprise for some of you because this is a pretty good Pokemon on its own. So for number three is Scrafty. Plenty of people already use Scrafty in game. But for real, giving it an evolution with base stats of 488, it's on. It's a it's a good tank. That's what I can say because if it's great defense, but add some more HP and speed and bring up the attack just a bit, and you have one Pokemon to reckon with. And you know what? Might as well keep that hood up the entire time if you're gonna give them an evolution. Bitch, you know what it's time for? It's time for some honorable mentions. So before I unveil the final two, I thought it'd be good to give off some honorable mentions. Which means I would enjoy to see them evolve, but really, I'm fine with where they're, they're at right now and where they stand. First is, uh, Farfetch. I mean, just come on. But, put him out of his misery. Give him an evolution. It doesn't even have to be good. I just feel bad for him. Next is Quillfish. I don't even think I'm saying that right. But this guy is just a Pokemon everybody who they forget about. I mean, come on. I feel like it would be a good thing on having him going into the company of the whole Garrows and Milotic kind of family when he evolves. And the last honorable mention is Zangus, and he's such a cool Pokemon. But I've always felt like there's something missing. Give him an evolution and put him out there and then see his popularity. Okay, now for number two. Here it is. The great, the powerful, the amazing Dunsparce. Yes, you probably should have seen this one coming. Dunsparce? Wait, Dunce? As in stupid and dumb? Yeah, that's what people think of this Pokemon. I can't help but to feel bad for the guy. So Dunsparce is known as Land State Pokemon doesn't look like much of a snake to me Th that's a good evolution for it to be a serpent that say barrels on the ground because he has a whole drill on his tail that would be great make it a ground type then a good quick hard hitter and the dance boss will finally fade in the little wall who mocked him forgot of him <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. And now, finally, 
in number one. I'm gonna get right into it. It's my Diana. God damn it if the other dark dog gets a mega evolution, why can't he? You see, I love my Diana and I think he's most deserving of an evolution, mostly because Houndoom got one. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, my Diana is a great Pokemon. But he can't really battle for any end of the game gameplay, making me have to box him. If he can rack up his stats and make him look even cooler, then oh my doof, we have a hell of a Pokemon. If you're not going to give him a permanent evolution, at least give him a mega evolution. He's definitely deserving of it. And so, I mean, that's why he's my number one. Thanks for watching, you guys. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. And tell me some Pokemon you feel need an evolution. Share this video and grill the channel. You guys are amazing. And I'm always open to what you guys want to see me do next for a video. Whether it's a countdown, a let's play, a mini game, I don't care. You decide. Thanks for watching. And as always, be do foul.